We'll guide you through what to do if you forgot your Apple ID account or iCloud account password and how to reset it. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. So you've gone and forgotten your Apple ID or iCloud account password, and you want to go and change it and reset it so you go and know it again. It's quite common now to not go and remember it and forget it because after you've gone and set up your iPhone, you don't really need to go and use it again and you aren't asked for it because when it, you were doing things like downloading apps or paying for things, you can go and use Face ID as that's then the verification and authentication method for using your account password basically. So we can guide you through how you can go and reset it and change it as sometimes you are still going to go and need it. Maybe you found you're trying to go and set your Apple ID account password on a new device or even you're just trying to make a change and it's asking for your password. So there's actually a chance you may be able to go and view the password before going and resetting it, which will quickly guide you through. So what you want to do is go and locate the passwords app on your iPhone. So by default, it's going to be on the second app page and you can come into utilities folder and go and find passwords. If you're struggling to find it, you can go and drag down like so and go and type in passwords like so, and you can then go and tap on it. You can then go and authenticate yourself with Face ID or enter in your iPhone passcode, which I'll do. Now, what you need to then do is you need to go and search for your Apple ID. You can go and browse through all or just press search at the bottom and you can go and type in Apple and you should go and find your account if it's been saved. You can then tap on it like so and you'll go and see your username, which is your, going to be your Apple ID account email and then your password. So you can then go and tap on it and go and reveal it. However, not in all cases, it will go and be saved. So you still may need to go and reset it, but it has been saved. It will go and save you from going through the process. But if you find that you do still need to go and reset and change it, we'll guide you through those steps. So the easiest way to go and do this is actually through Safari. So you can go and open up Safari like so, and there's actually a site we can head to. So what you want to do is go and press search and you can go and type in forgot Apple account password, just like so. We're actually getting suggested at the top here and make sure we come to an official site. That's so important. Make sure you use the official Apple one, which is this one here, Apple support, support.apple.com. It says if you've forgotten your Apple account password, so you can go and tap here. Now you can go and read through this, this document, but what we're going to be doing is finding this link. It's in blue and it says resetting your password on the web. So you can then go and tap that there like so. You then get taken down here to reset your Apple account password on the web. So what we can do is go and press the reset button. With this, you don't even need to have anything sent to your email or phone number, which is really convenient. It's quick and easy. We are going to be needing to use a trusted device. So make sure you're using your iPhone or wherever your Apple account has been. So what we can then do is go and tap on it like so. Now we'll get taken to this page here and it says verify your account information to reset your password, which we can do. So let's go down here and go and press reset password. What's going to happen is we're going to go and get this pop-up and it should go and automatically go and detect your Apple ID account because it's on our phone here, which is really good. So we can go and just confirm that. And if somebody else is trying to do reset their password on this device, they'll have to go and you have to go and press help someone else. But in this case, because we're doing it for this Apple ID account here, I can go and press reset my password like so. Now it's going to go and load, go and be patient. And as you can see, we can then go and use our iPhone passcode just to go and verify that it's us. So let me go and enter that in. You shouldn't go and take too long to verify. And as you can see, we can now go and enter in a new password. It's that quick and easy. So what we then need to do is go and enter it. It says here, it must be at least eight characters, include a number, uppercase letter, and a lowercase letter. So I'm gonna do that now. Of course, try and make it something you can go and remember because it is annoying to have to go through this process every time. As I did say earlier though, it's so easy to go and not remember it. Then once I've done that, I can go and press continue like so, and it's now loading and the password has now been changed. So we can still go and manage your account at any time in settings, which is great. You can press that there or press done. So that's it. Now, the next time you go and get asked your Apple ID account password or iCloud account password, you will be using that there. What you can do as well is go and save it in your passwords app. You can come into utilities and put it in there. This is a pretty secure way of doing it because to access it, you do need to go and use your face ID, of course, just to get into your iPhone and then to go and access the app again, you ask for it as well, or your passcode. So I think it is a good secure place to go and save it in there if you th think you need to, because then you can easily go and see it again if you need to and you end up forgetting it. So that's it. If you found this useful and you managed to go and reset your password, consider subscribing and liking the video. I look forward to help you again in the future with more useful guides like this.